Hey guys, just oiling Janaya's hair. Of course, you guys know they just got their hair chemically treated uh, last weekend. So I'm just doing my part, making sure it stayed oiled and, you know, because their hair was chemically treated. So I'm just making sure their hair stayed nice and oiled and um, making sure it doesn't get dry. So that's what we're doing. Oil in little mama's hair. I did put a little oil in it the other day, so it's got a little oil. So just wanted to add a little bit more oil to it, make sure it's not getting dry. So, and I use the mango lime Jamaican black castor oil. I use the use that use Jamaican oil that's what I use in the girls hair and I also use it in my hair too so Jamaican oil you guys can see that there it is okay anyway you guys know what I'm talking about so Little mama's hair oil. Like I said, I did put a little oil in it the other day, so. Just adding a little bit more oil to it, making sure it stay nice, nice and oiled. Your weekend school was okay, Janaya. Mm -hmm. This is my city. Oh, no, I got that. And while I'm doing her hair, um, I'm sure she's gonna be on her phone playing a game or something. So, that's what she's doing. Let's make sure you guys can see. And after that, I oil it, I'm just going to put it in like two little ponytails. Something simple. We're not going anywhere today. I'll just give her two little ponytails when I get through oiling it. And it still has oil in it from what I put in put on it the other day. Still got a little oil in it, so. So it's not like she's completely dry. So we're just adding a little bit more oil and giving her a little cute little style. scrunchies sometimes I use rubber bands but I don't really like to use the rubber bands I like using scrunchies hello all the way around thank you and I usually just part it in half and do one half at a time my all open and I'll just part it in. And another reason why I like this container because it has that little top, you know, a little twist. And then you can just pour out top. That's another reason why I like um, the Jamaican oil as well. Now, I have the bigger container Jamaican oil. And I just transfer it to the small one because it's just easier that way. And this is the... Um, this one is... Um, I also have the peppermint one too. The Jamaican oil peppermint. I like that one too. It smells good. Just 
just want to make sure their hair stay nice and oil especially you know with them having chemically treated hair so make sure it stay nice and oil doesn't pop off break off um miss d the licensed beautician that does their hair you know she does you know she does her job very well we love miss d hey miss d if you're watching but she does a great job with the girls hair she has grown my girl's hair so much their hair has grown tremendously so long since miss d's been taking care of their hair so i definitely have to do my part you know as a parent make sure the girl's hair um make sure the girl's hair is being maintained in between hair appointments so they do have their next hair appointment in about two weeks maybe three weeks it's on the 19th so in about two weeks they've got their next hair appointment with miss d uh, which is just the uh, deep conditioning, you know, treating it. So, definitely make sure I keep up with their appointments and make sure, you know. You know, anytime the kids, my kids, you know, anytime, you know, because the hair is chemically treated, you got to make sure you're taking care of their hair. So, I make sure I take care of their hair don't want it falling out because we're not taking care of it so and like I said especially with chemically uh, treated hair you got to make sure you taking care of it especially with kids so you know how it is being a woman it's a lot of maintenance a lot of maintenance being a woman. Gotta get our hair done and all that good stuff. And that's all part of being a woman. Ow. Sorry. So. If I part it and oil every little part, I take some on my hand and then I just do some all over. And I do this once a week. Make sure the hair stay oiled. Do it once a week. Nice and oiled and moist. And I give them a little massage. Little, little mini massage there to help stimulate the hair. So it can grow, grow, grow. Just a little massage. No. And give her a little, two little ponytails. I don't want to pull it too much because they just got it. Like I said, they just got it permed, so I don't want to pull it too much. So. So we'll just give her two cute little ponytails. And pull on it, pull, pull, pull on it. So. That's what we doing. And having girls, you know, can be a lot, especially, you know, keeping their hair maintained and keeping their hair done and you know, we gotta do what we gotta do as parents. Gotta do what we gotta do. Don't make excuses, just do what you gotta do. These kids, you know, they didn't ask to be here. So, we gotta do what we gotta do to take care of our kids. Okay. Alright, Jenna, you can turn around to the other side now. Other way. Read it, Mama. Put it, put it down so you can see your face some more. Not even there. No. Okay, guys. 
we are back doing the other side of her hair getting it oiled yep just a little quick oil taking about, about 10 minutes to oil it not long part in the oil I just part it and put a little oil in the part part it and then I put my Jamaican oil in there and I just rub it in there Easy, easy, quick, quick and easy. Cause you know, kids already don't like to sit still for no, for their hair to be done. So they're already impatient and don't want to sit long. I mean, not like they adults. You know, we we can sit for a while, but kids don't really like sitting, getting their hair done. You know, my girls are used to it, but I'm sure there's still some times where they don't feel like sitting to get their hair done. So. I'll make it quick, quick for them. I usually let them be on their laptops or their phones or something to keep them entertained while I'm doing their hair. And I'm telling you, take care of your kids here. It will grow, grow, grow. Um, I kept the girl's hair braided and braided and conditioned and taken care of and it will grow and once it got to a, a good length I got their hair permed chemically treated some people don't like that for kids but I take care of my kids hair so, just because kids get their hair chemically treated don't mean it's going to fall out. I mean, as long as you're doing your part to take care of it, it's fine. My girls have been getting perms for a couple years now. And the hair's growing. Still growing. Growing, growing. You guys have seen, if you haven't seen the video where the girls got their hair done, make sure you go watch that video. And you see my girl's hair is, their hair is growing and it is long. And that's from taking care of it. Making sure it's, it's clean and conditioned and oiled and all of that good stuff. So, take care of it, it'll grow. Can't, can't be lazy, we gotta do what we gotta do. And there are times when I don't, I don't feel like doing things, you know. There are times when I don't feel like oiling the hair. I don't feel like doing the hair, but you know what? Do what I gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. There's always gonna be a time where you don't feel like doing something. It's just how it is. I don't feel like doing things a lot too. But hey, I've learned to push myself and do what I gotta do. So, that's what I do. Do what you gotta do, especially when it comes down to the kids. I love my kids and people should, their kids should come first. My kids come first. Never put anybody before your kids. God takes care of you. God takes care of me and my kids. God is the head of my life. And God takes care of us. So, God first and then he takes care of me and my kids. So, God and... You know how that goes. God and my kids. That's it. At the end of the day. That's all that matters. What God thinks, not what people think. Because people, people don't even matter at the end of the day. People gonna, you're going to have some people that support you and some people that don't. Some people that like you and some people don't. Some people may love you and some people may hate you. Oh, well. Oh, well. All I care about at the end of the day is God happy with what I'm doing. And, of course, my kids. Oh, Mama, that's cute. They love two pointy tails. 
cute, Mama. Let me make sure. I know. I'll let you look in the mirror. Let me finish oiling your ends on this side. Oiling your edges. And this Jamaican oil helps the hair grow. You guys don't know that. It does. Definitely helps the hair grow too. So, that's even. That's a plus for the girl's hair. A plus. Okay, Mama. Got two. Zooming too much. Yep, I am. Zooming too much. Then the mama with her ponytails. Go ahead and get your glasses on, honey. Here's my glasses. Right there. On the bed right there. <laughs> you silly little girl. You see, it got a little, a little curl in it still from when Miss D did it. It still has got a little curl in it. Let me see. Again, mama. Pretty girl. All right, got your two ponytails. Turn around so you can see. Two little ponytails, mama. And Janaya hair is growing. Her hair is going to be as long as Amaya's. Maybe even longer by the time we through. But all right, that is little mama. Turn around, Janaya. Okay, so we are in here in the girls' room. It is Amaya's turn to get her hair done. And I'm um, just going to oil it real quick because she's in the middle of doing a school project. So just came in here to oil her hair real quick while she's doing her school project. It's a Saturday. So, girls just got their hair done, like I said in the previous clip. So, just making sure I keep it nice and oiled. Right. And I just part it and oil it, part it and oil it. That's all we need to do, part and oil. I'll be in and out so she can get, finish her school project. I don't wanna be in her way. So I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. Let me comb. And Amaya's hair used to be the same length as Janaya's. Same length as my little mama's. But as you can see, Amaya's hair is really long. And that's from doing, like I said, keeping it washed, conditioned. Um, keeping it braided. I kept it braided and once it grew out to a certain length I got it chemically treated which is a perm. So that's what I did and now that the girl's hair is chemically treated um, by a licensed beautician didn't want just any and everybody you know in their hair so the girls have a license a licensed beautician you know, because I don't want any problems with the hair falling out. Your chances are better with a licensed beautician. So, that's what I went with. That's what Miss D is. She is licensed, so. She does a very good job taking care of the girl's hair, like I said. So, just going to oil it real quick on mine and get out of your way so you can get back to your school project. I already finished it. Oh, you finished that one project? Yes. Okay. And you got another one to do? Mm-hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. Okay. All right. So let me hurry up and get your hair oiled so you can so after so you've already done that project. So you've got another something else you need to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. And then after you do that. You'll be finished? No. I still got more from other classes. Oh, from your other classes? Okay. Yeah, I tell my daughter, I've been in school. I went to school. I went to, I graduated. I went to college. So, I mean, I understand everything about school. I know how overwhelming it can get. So, talk to my kids. I let them know I understand. 
I know how overwhelming it can get with school, especially with my girls being remote learners. You know, it can be a little bit more difficult being a remote learner, not being there in front of the teacher learning. It can be a little bit more difficult, so it can get a little hard for them. I know in the beginning they struggled with the whole virtual learning, but we got it together. Girls understand and they're doing great. It was an adjustment, but they are doing great. They are doing great now. She's adding more work. Oh, your teacher? Yes. Because we have the pre assessment to do. Mm -hmm. And then we have these two projects to do. Mm -hmm. Remember that. And then all of a sudden I see this no red link or some, which is an activity stuff that we do on here. So she's added more work, huh? Yeah, like she's added more. Which teacher is this, Maya? ELA. Man, that ELA. Well, Maya's in all the above level classes. She's in above level classes, so can get a little hard some time for her but I make sure I'm there for her and her older sister who was also in all advanced classes she's here we're here to help the girls out they need help with anything they don't understand of course we get with their teacher they get with their teachers too but I'm gonna do my part as a parent to make sure make sure they're understanding got little mama behind me here I don't know what she doing YouTube or something but yeah. This semester, not some, yeah, semester, was pretty, this quarter was pretty hard. Yeah, sometimes it's going to be like that, honey. We have tough, tough semesters, tough quarters. It's going to be tough like that sometimes, you know. Especially with you getting, you being in eighth grade, you know. Like I said, the older you get, the more responsibilities are put on you. Especially with school. In elementary where you um in kindergarten coloring and pacing and drawing pictures all day mm. those days are gone you know although we all would love to to stay young and draw and paste all day and <laughs> play on the playground with our friends all day we all love to do that but that's not reality been hitting a little bit. Yeah, it's not reality. Give a little massage there. Stimulate the hair growth. Not that she needs her hair to grow anymore, but hey, it is what it is. Do a little massage for him. Wipe it off or you got it? I got it. At least I almost have a B in algebra. You got a what in algebra? I almost have a B in algebra. All right. Awesome. That's good, Amaya. Get that, get that grade up to a B. I know it was a D, but you did what you had to do to get it up there, right? That's right. Keep working hard. Like, there's this one test that we had to do, and then like again, that whole situation thing I told you about. Mm -hmm. How it like, um, if I were to go to the next question, I can't go back. Right, right. Which is a stupid thing, because I want to go back and check my answers. Right. 
Um, so then I just um she lets me able to do test corrections, which I really like. Yeah. So then um I, some teachers don't. I did some of the um ones I didn't do or skipped an accident. Okay. And that brought it up way much higher than what it was. Good, honey. Get them grades. Gotta get them grades. Get them grades. So you can go to a good college. Get that education. Pulled away from college. Get a good job. Are you giving me pigtails? I'm giving you pigtails, yeah. yes. Yeah, so you can be twinsy with your sister. No. And that's what you get for laughing at your sister. With her pigtails. No. Now you're going to have them. No, she's younger. <laughs> oh, you're never too old for pigtails, girl. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, I wear pigtails. I ain't going nowhere in public with them. Y'all not seen me in pigtails before? I ain't going out in public with no pigtails, but... All right, guys, my battery's going dead, so I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up. Just going to finish oiling the other side of Amaya's hair. You guys seen me do the other side. I just part in oil, part in oil. And once again, I use the um, Jamaican oil. I also use the peppermint Jamaican oil as well. So that's what I do, part in oil. Uh, Jamaican oil is good for growing the girl's hair. So it works. You guys see the girl's hair, how long it is, how it's growing so well. And um, that's it, guys. That will conclude the video of Hair Day with the Girls. Want to say bye, Maya? Bye. <laughs> well, really? Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.